Grace and mercy and peace belong to you, from God our Father, and from our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. If I were to ask what is one of your earliest childhood memories, no doubt you would, we'd all come up with, with many, many of them. Somewhere along the line, it seems probable that one of those early childhood memories might be sitting on the lap of a loved one and simply looking down on your loved one's hands. Do you have a memory like that? perhaps sitting on the, the lap of a, of a grandmother and looking at her, her elderly gnarled hands or, looking, or sitting on the, the lap of a, of a strong younger uncle and, and you see his, his very strong thick hands or maybe the, the hands of a mother with delicate fingers and delicate smaller hands. And then there are the hands of our Lord. Next Wednesday, the first Wednesday in March, we begin the Lenten season with Ash Wednesday, a 10 a.m. morning service and a 6.30 p.m. evening service. And the theme for our Lenten worship on these upcoming Wednesdays will be the hands of the passion, the hands of the passion. And every Wednesday we will picture in our minds a pair of hands from the account of, of Jesus' suffering and death for the sins of the world. It will include hands of betrayal, hands of misguided zeal, hands of hypocrisy, hands of brutality, hands of self-preservation, hands of repentance. Far and above those pictures of those hands, however, will be our Lord's hands, the hands of love, there is a beautiful picture that the Lord gives to us in the Old Testament book of Isaiah, written hundreds of years before Jesus' birth. It's a at a time when some of God's people were, were undergoing a lot of trouble, a lot of stress, a lot of difficulty, and they began to fear that the Lord, their God, had forgotten them. But he says this to them in Isaiah chapter 49. He says, Can a mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she has born? Though she may forget, if that were even possible, though she may forget, I will not forget you. I have engraved you on the palms of of my hands. I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. In those moments when you feel isolated, when you feel abandoned, when you feel betrayed, when you feel forgotten, when you're simply curled up in hurt, remember that you have a God you have a Savior God who loves you so dearly that he has engraved your name on the palms of his own hands. And he made that possible by allowing spikes to enter his hands and to go into timbers of wood. And he willingly hung on those timbers of wood and suffered and died for your every sin and not only yours, 
but for the sins of the whole world. And through his resurrection, he now assures you through his living word that he will never forget you. He has you. He has engraved you on the palms of his hands. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen.